G'day guys, I'm out here with my mate Bucket. We're here to talk about poor life choices and shoot some pigs on freshly cut wheat paddocks. We've got a couple of customers that are coming out down here. Those guys might cop it a little bit later. We're actually above them by about 600 metres, so that's a good thing. We're on the back fence of this paddock. Pigs come out of the timber line, feed their way down. So we'll wait for it to get proper dark. We should have some other animals come out while we're sitting here. This trip, I'm running my mate's 300 Blackout. I haven't run that calibre before. Something special for you guys, which I'm sure you'll figure out pretty soon. And I'm also shooting my new Smurf gun. So that's a JCPD Arms Elite Series 2, chambered in 6.5 PRC. This guy here's just popped out of nowhere. So he's gonna call the subsonic. And 75 metres away now. We'll try and get about there on that high side if I can. Running this 300 Blackout, it's certainly different to my 308. They're quite a slow round. They're a 150 grain, but they're only doing about 1,900 feet per second. So my leads that I'm very familiar with are a little bit out. Fortunately, I do get the opportunity now to stay on target, and I can figure those out pretty quick. That wasn't a bad opening volley indeed. Once I got those leads on point, those pigs were in big trouble. Actually a heap of good looking sized pigs out here. 150. I'd love to get over there on that contour, but the wind's not great, so I'm gonna have to go down there, I think, which is a little bit annoying. That's the first one out of that little engagement before they ran over the contour, but that is not a bad sized pig indeed. That'll do it. 
Ready? I will be. Shot. Oh, they're all in the timber. There's shit running everywhere out there. Yeah. Right? Target acquired there. It's like four pigs. 293 metres away. There's another one there, and there's another one there. Bloody hell. I'm shooting this Winchester Deer Season XP. It's a 150 grain, I don't know, ballistic tip, bonded bullet thing at about 1900 feet per second. To start with, it's very difficult for me to get the hang of my target leads because they're only doing about 1900 feet per second, so very different to what I'm used to with a 308. Second thing, they are hard as, f you know what I'm gonna say. They are almost like a full metal jacket. They are just zipping through these small pigs like a hot knife, I've got multiple double hits, lots of ricochets, unfortunately. Uh, they're very hard round, as we're finding out. Shining a laser at my head? No. What is wrong with you? Bloody hell! I could, I could lose, I could a target-rich environment. I could lose my vision from that. That's very dangerous, mate. See what I got to put up with? Serious workplace issues.
there's a rookie mistake. We've just left the house. We've gone about 300 metres and a pig's got up off the dam. I wasn't actually ready for it. I still had my scope on four mag anyway. Headshot at about five metres, but it should have been a lot quicker and tidier than it was, but that's a lot of mag for something that's so close. Got a couple of fallow deer up here in this basin. It's pretty long grass. I'm laying down. I'm kind of looking through it on the side of the road. Some grass. That'll do it. We've just pulled up here to smack into a couple of pigs with this PRC and unfortunately there was a really good boar. The kangaroos scared it off so the mate said they don't get big by being stupid. He's no exception but we certainly splayed into a few of them up on that hillside though. I don't know if you'll see them with this camera or hear it over the wind, but up in there there's five good sized pigs. A heap of cattle have just run up the road, which nearly effed it up, but I'm going to keep heading up this creek up this side here. We'll see if we can get in on them. That went all right. I ended up shooting all of those pigs. Very nice. We're just cruising back down to the creek line ahead of us at the moment. It's nearly dark. Uh, we just before headed up the hillside to set up and sit there and wait and see what came out as it did get dark, but an unnamed person decided to shoot a pig in front of the buggy on the way up. So probably scared all the other animals off. Anyway, that's how it rolls. So we'll head back down, have a little bit of a feed. Enough said. I'm just reflecting on a few things, watching this beautiful sunset. I just wanted to thank all the people that support me on Patreon. Without you guys, I would have stopped doing this video caper a long time ago. Everyone knows who they are. Thank you very much.
Tuna. He's a scruffy little boar, that fella. He walked right into about 15 metres. I do think he was about to bust me. Anyway, the bullet between the eyes kind of did that. Excuse the leakage in his ear. He's got a hemorrhaging problem. Things got a little bit tropical on these guys. I could hardly see them and then they all came out of the grass straight through the fence line. Ended up chewing into those. Sow down here with some small pigs. I know it does upset some people that we shoot sows and young animals, but this is pest control. It's what I'm contracted here to do. It's not hunting as such, it's animal reduction. One would question from this angle exactly what he's doing. I'll let you guys comment what that might be, but the truth is, he's got his Leatherman out, he's deployed in action. Just getting a few deer legs. So I've got one group of pigs just there. Those ones I'm going to leave to my mate in the side by side. And I'm going to go and concentrate on these ones here on foot. I think these guys are in a little bit of trouble. Oh, look at that sow. Smelly little ball, he's just got piss all over his nose. 70 metres away. We might have to shoot that. Oh, look at him, he wants some more piss on his nose. That's a sow, this one. It could have been what all those boars were squealing and fighting about as I was walking in. These guys will be nice little eaters. We better get the old Leatherman out and do some knife work. 
We're just over on some canola stubble at the moment and it's blowing its absolute ass off. I'm probably going to have really wind-blown audio clips on these thermal devices, but can't do as much about that. How come I've always got to open the gates? I think it's a little bit unfair. Whose side by side is it? Whose side by side is it? Yeah, well, that's a good point. Still doesn't mean I can't whinge about it. I look good in a skirt. <laughs> got quite a few pigs about 200 meters up in front of me I'm gonna try and run subsonics see if I can thin them out because there's more animals the next paddock across about 500 meters away so it'd be beneficial to not clear the whole paddock in one barrage so to speak so we'll see what happens up here Stanky leg. Wow, what a shoot that has been. 180 pigs down. Amazing. I've had such a good time with my mate Bucket. Thanks, mate, for inviting me out for a hand on the contract. If you guys can't tell us, viewers, there's a lot of banner that gets thrown around and we have a great time out there together. But we do get a job done. Happy property owners, as usual. If you did like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Ensure you subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it if you'd like to have a look at my Patreon. And I'll see everyone next time.